Hello everyone, thank you so much for popping by. How are you doing? Well, I've gone again on to jw.org. I go there so you don't have to. And they've got a new thing. It was a logical development, I would think. Um, so on their opening page now, you have online Bible study lessons. Discover the Bible in a new interactive way using these brief lessons. Oh, yeah, makes sense they're going to have this, isn't it? Free online Bible study lessons. Don't need to be religious. Interactive basic Bible teachings. As you see, if I already had a little look, I progressed 25%. It is very... I've gone through... See, I've got a little tick. I've got a tick for lesson one. It is very basic. It is... Yeah, just... It is very simple. So, does this mean that um, now the um, the pioneers and the average publisher is now redundant? Of course not, because at the end of each lesson, you do get the invite to attend a meeting or to request a one-on-one -on -one Bible study. So, it's that open door. What do you call it in sales when you have these open door soft openings that then lead you into the bigger thing in scientology didn't it i don't know what it is now but didn't it used to be like something like a free personality test that you got in london they had a big center stood near oxford circus and you'd have the canvases out in the street saying come in for a they didn't mention really scientology and things it was come in for a free personality test uh yeah they were very busy doing that so you can see how does god save us from death you can see the subject um, matter all there. How will God end suffering evil by killing 99.9999999999%? So, let's, so we're looking at reviewing. There's a lot of sort of multiple choice questions. Very easy. Um, let's begin by reviewing a key point from the previous lessons in this unit. According to the Bible, where do suffering and evil come from? Hmm. Hmm. So let me press ignorance and see what it says. This view is common and the Bible acknowledges that a lack of knowledge can lead to suffering. However, look, Proverbs, it teaches that suffering began when Adam and Eve rebelled against God. They were not ignorant of God's requirements, but chose to disobey of their own free will. I'm still confused as to know how they would know that there were lies. Like, how could Eve know? Oops, I'm wonky the wrong way. How would Eve know that a snake would come and lie to her? I don't get this. So they, they're not happy with that answer. Let me put desire of any kind wrong. Many people share that view, and it's true that desires lead to the rebellion against God, which has brought great suffering to humankind. However, the Bible shows that not all desire is bad. In fact, it teaches that God fulfills proper desires, saying about him, you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. So there we have sin and bad rulership. Very good. So there you go. Lots of them continue. So just to give you a taster. So this is the very end of it. Uh, you can see what is God's kingdom. Um, so, yeah, lots of video clips and, and different things going on. Let's have a little look for you there. At a, a video clip. Or maybe not. Maybe it's going on. I'm not going to continue. Don't be waiting. Where is God's kingdom located? So I'm just going to have to put in Israel just to be annoying. <laughs> Okay, so there you have these multiple choice things. Lots of that. Lots of that. Bible verses. Continue to show on. So you're going to show me that? On all are true. What a surprise. Now they have this slide thing where the picture changes. Lots of these. What will God's kingdom do about bad rulership? It will cast out Satan as world ruler and remove human governments, bringing peace to the entire earth. I bet they wish they could do that with the Dutch government right now. Slide the circle to change the picture. So here we have picture. See, slidey, slidey, slidey. Oh, 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 oh. Page turny, turny, turny. Happy paradise. Earth. Unicorns farting marshmallows. That's a reference to a Reddit... Um, conversation happening earlier how will god deal with human governments rule alongside them <laughs> remove and replace them reform them let's put reform them just to see what they say god never intended for humans to rule over other humans except for the governing body who rules over other humans <laughs> 
So the summary, you have a summary for section one. See, I guess you're getting the idea, more multiple choice. Getting the idea we do have, at least, Bible passages. Now what they're doing this one now. Oh yeah, they have these ones where you compare. They're very, these are quite um, basic. Click the picture to see the comparison. So we have a picture. A picture, a picture of the, oh, the seasons. <sighs> I shouldn't really laugh at those. Anyway, so you get the idea. So there we have it. Um, even more redundancy for um, the rank and file. I mean, everything now is, instead of having an answer, it's go to jw.org. And now you can even go there to start your Bible, in quote, Bible study. So uh, let me just try and get you as quickly as possible to the end, continue, watch just in the review, just to show you how they then push for you to have the extra, the extra thing. Da, 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 da. You finished the lesson. There's going to be another one now. You completed the course. Here we are. So here we are. Would you like to continue learning? Request a personal instructor. There we go. Attend a group study. Continue learning on jw.org. So let me request a personal instructor. What would they like? Request. Uh, so you tell us about yourself. Preferred language. City, town. Yeah, you'd expect them to have that sort of things. I agree to the terms of use and privacy. And I'm not a robot. Please contact me. So, latest developments there at jw.org.